let's look at how to work with folders in AIO tests. In AIO tests, you can create and manage separate folder trees or folder structures for cases, sets, and cycles. Folders can be accessed using the burger icon present on the left of the entity name. Clicking on the burger icon toggles the folder panel. Once the panel is open, we can work with the folders. As we can see, AIO tests provides all cases link and the not assigned folder out of the box in the folder panel. As the name suggests, all cases link can be used to list all the cases irrespective of the folders that they reside in. Again, as the name suggests, cases that do not belong to any folder reside in the not assigned folder. Let's see how we can create our custom folder structure for cases in this project. Let's click on this add folder icon, which should launch an add new folder model like this. To create a top level folder or folders at the top of the folder hierarchy, folders should be the selected value for the parent folder field on this model. In this case, as we don't have any other folders, it is selected by default for us. Let's provide a name for our folder. And click on add. So as you can see, we have just created our first folder. Let's create some more folders. To create a subfolder, we can either select the parent folder and then click on this add folder icon or we can click on the three vertical dots on the parent folder and then click on new folder. That should launch the add new folder model and we should see our parent folder pre-selected. Let's provide a name for our subfolder. And click on add. That will create the subfolder under the actions folder which is the parent folder. We can rename a folder by clicking on the more actions icon on that folder and then clicking on rename. Here we can provide an alternate name and click on rename. That should rename our folder. To move a folder to a different location within our folder tree, we can just click on the three vertical dots or the more actions icon on the folder that needs to be moved and then click on move to. On the resulting model, we can select the parent folder under which we want to move this folder. In this case, we want to move our list level actions folder and make it a subfolder of actions folder. So I'll select the actions folder over here and click on move. As we can see, list level actions folder is now a subfolder of the actions folder. Let's look at how we can assign folders to our cases, or in other words, move our cases so that they belong to specific folders. Here, I am in a folder that has no cases. So let me just go to not assign folder where I'll find all my cases that don't belong to a folder. The easiest way to move a case to any folder is just to drag and drop the case into the folder by grabbing it using the drag icon which should be available at the start of each row and dropping it in the desired folder. As we can see, the case that we just dragged to list item level actions folder is now present in that folder. Let's look at another way of moving a case to a folder. First, let's go to the not assigned folder to list all our not assigned cases and right click on the case that we want to move. Here we should have move to option, click on it and on the resulting model, select the folder to which you want to move this case. Let's select the actions folder for this one, click on move 
and the case should move to the desired folder. We can even move multiple cases to a folder in one go using the bulk edit option available for cases. For that, let's first go to the cases grid and then click on bulk edit. Now we can select the cases that we want to move. Let's select this one and this one. And after selection, we can click on the bulk edit link again and select move to. On the resulting model, we can choose the folder where we want to move these cases. Let's select list level actions in this case and click on move. Going to list level actions folder, we can see our cases have moved to that folder. As we have seen, selecting a folder lists all the cases present in that folder. If we select a parent folder which has cases directly present in it and which also has cases present in its subfolders, then by default only the cases present directly in the parent folder are visible on the grid. Here we can see that we have selected actions folder which is a parent folder for two other folders and there is only one case shown on the grid. However, by clicking on the show items from subfolders icon, we can list all the cases present in the parent folder including cases present in the subfolders.